Welcome aboard Cloud Wine. It's the Flying Psalm. It's a pleasure to welcome you here in the Okanagan Valley in the heart of wine country, British Columbia. As you can see here behind me, we're on Lake Okanagan. It's absolutely gorgeous spring day and it's such a nice spring warm day. I thought perhaps a little bit of Pinot Noir Rosé to sip on such a beautiful spring day here in the Okanagan. So the Okanagan Valley is in the heart of wine country, British Columbia. You might think of British Columbia as very wet and rainy and lots of grizzly bears coming to attack, but believe it or not, that's on the other side of the coastal mountains. Vancouver, Seattle, it's very wet, it's very rainy because all that weather from the Pacific comes, rains on Vancouver, tries to get over the mountains into Kelowna and Penticton and Oliver on the other side of the mountains and the storms and the weather just can't make it over those top mountain ranges. So it gets stuck there and it rains in Vancouver and Seattle. However, that means when you're in Okanagan Valley, Kelowna, Penticton, Oliver, it's very hot, it's very dry and it's very sunny as you can see. What a beautiful beautiful sunny day today. I thought I'd share a little bit about some Okanagan Valley facts about wine. So Okanagan Valley runs typically north to south, about 200 kilometers or so. In the north we have Vernon, a little bit cooler, a little fresher, a little crisper, perfect for Rieslings, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, typical cooler climate styles of wine. And then as you work your way south, down through Kelowna, Penticton, Oliver, down to Osoyos and the U.S. border. It's about two degrees warmer from Vernon, Kelowna down to that U.S. border where Osoyos is. So they can grow bigger, fuller bodied red wines. Cabernet Sauvignon, Shiraz, Melbeck, these big full bodied delicious wines perfect for a steak. But that's what I think makes the Okanagan Valley so special. In the north, beautiful Pinot Noir rosés that are soft, elegant and crisp and again as you work your way further down south much hotter weather, much fuller bodied red wines, perfect for those you know perfect steak nights. So when you're considering checking out the Okanagan Valley for wine don't think it's just full bodied reds or elegant Pinot Noirs and Chardonnay like you think you might get in Burgundy or a cooler climate. The Okanagan Valley really does stretch from north to south, it's quite diverse and again, you can have beautiful, fresh, smooth, crisp rosés all the way into those fuller bodied reds. And I, I meet clients and, and guests all the time and they say, Ryan, I've never had good Canadian wine. And I think what they're trying to say is, I've never had full bodied red wine like you get in Bordeaux or full bodied red wine like you get in California. But this is what makes British Columbia so special. The Okanagan Valley is part of the Sonoran Desert. The Sonoran Desert runs on the eastern side of those coastal mountains all the way from Mexico through California, Oregon, Washington, all the way up right here into Kelowna and just north up this lake to Vernon. And this Sonoran Desert is very hot, it's very dry, and this is where you can grow those typical full-bodied wines that I think clients are kind of referring to when they say I've never had good Canadian wine. I think they're just meaning they've never had good full-bodied Canadian wine. If you want full-bodied wine, Osoyos, Oliver, Penticton. If you want elegant rosés, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Riesling in the Kelowna region. And as climate change impacts, you're finding that these wineries are going further north up the Okanagan Valley. I think you're going to see Vernon, BC become a really huge next upcoming spot to grow a lot of these elegant Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays and Rosés because of that warming climate as well to winemakers as you'll see in the back they're going to start climbing in altitude up from the valley floor and up the side of these kind of smaller mountains because of course as we know the further we the higher we go the further from the lake we go you're going to get a greater diurnal shift so it's going to be a little bit warm in the day quite cool at night Again, really helps with acidity for those elegant wines, but just to keep the wines cool, to keep them elegant, I think you're gonna see that winemakers start to climb uh, north in latitude and in elevation up the side of the mountain. Uh, but with that said, you can see Lake Okanagan, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, they make really terrific wines, and whether you live in Ontario, Nova Scotia, a local in BC, or perhaps international, I really hope you'll consider checking out some of the really elegant, beautiful wines here in the Okanagan Valley. Aboard Cloud Wine. Cheers.